Hi, I'm Sean from Fidelity Factory, and uh, I'm going to walk you through a solution that we've built for helping with tracking time on projects. It's a big part of the work we do at Fidelity Factory. We're using Microsoft Flow, Power Apps, and the Flick button to help us along with uh, this process. So, uh, as I said, it's a big part of the business that we're in is uh, for all of our clients. We want to make sure that we're keeping track of how much time we're spending on their projects. And... Uh, and that's a, something that we've chosen to automate. So a little bit more about who we are. So we are specialists in automation and business process solutions. Most of the solutions we deliver are in the Power Platform. We use SharePoint and have an extensive history with SharePoint as well. And one of the key tenets or philosophies we have is making sure that we get the right information to the right person at the right time. So moving on here, uh, let's talk about the solution tool set. Uh, we are using Power Apps in this solution to help capture data entries around the time entry. Uh, we are using the Flow mobile app uh, to help notify and drive part of the business process. We're using Flick buttons. If you haven't seen the Flick buttons before, uh, super powerful tool. There's a lot you can do with them. Uh, if you check out the website, it's F-L-I-C. You can Google that and you'll be able to see uh, a lot more about these buttons, but there's a lot you can do. Uh, and automate things on your mobile phone uh, and apps that you use there or cloud services and in this case uh, we have this cool flow branded flick button that we're going to use to drive our business process for time entry so we are using microsoft flow as well huge part of uh, delivering this solution is microsoft flow and data is stored for this process in sharepoint so let's talk about our goals so we have, a, as I was saying, uh, time entry is a big part of our business and we want to make that process as simple and painless as possible. Uh, if we can remove manual steps, it'll be uh, better for the folks that are having to enter the time and hopefully will improve their satisfaction without having to log in and, and keep track of, of time as they're working through things. So a quick overview of the solution. So uh, as I alluded to, this whole thing is really driven by the flick button. And a couple of really cool things that you can do with the flick button uh, is you can choose to have to activate um, activate a flow or in this case a flow or an action uh, with a single click, a double click or by holding the button. Uh, so there's three different actions you can take advantage of with the button. And uh, we are doing that in this in this flow or in this uh, process that we've automated. So here's a really quick look at what a flow, uh, what the first flow that we're gonna be reviewing. So to kick off a new time entry process, we flick the button once, and then we have some work that happens in SharePoint because we're storing all of our sessions there. We wanna make sure uh, we know whether or not there's an open session. So if there is an open session, uh, we'll notify the user that, hey, there's already an open session there. And if there isn't, we start one off and put a record in SharePoint to keep track of that. So we obviously we're using SharePoint to store that data in. And uh, we're also using the Flow mobile app uh, to notify users and take advantage of the alerting functionality there so they can pretty seamlessly uh, work through this process without asking uh, too much extra from them. All right, so let's get to our run through. So I'm actually going to take a step back from this screen and and here's our flick button. So we're going to do this uh, live demo and kick it all off just by flicking the button once. You can hear I had a notification on my phone uh, and I'm going to bring up the screen on my phone so you can see what's happening there. So I just received a notification from the Flow mobile app on my phone and it says that it's 902 and you've just started a new time tracking session. So that's great. And it looks like our flow ran successfully. So let's refresh the page. We'll take a quick look so we can see that 24 seconds ago it just ran. And let's take a look at what happened here. So we know the flick button was pressed. It did check for open entries and didn't find any because we have this condition here that tells us that. So what happened is it created a new entry record for us. And then it sent the, sent the mobile notification. So that's all pretty straightforward. So let's have a look in our SharePoint list. Oops, I'm gonna refresh this. So there we go, about a minute ago, we can see that we have a new time entry that's been entered. And I'm gonna edit this so we can have a really quick look at 
how we built this. So every button has its own ID. You might have noticed in that SharePoint list, the title column had that ID we were storing in it. So if you have multiple buttons, you'll know, you'll be able to, to keep track of the sessions, perhaps. In this case, the sessions are aligned with the button IDs. So we run a really simple query. So we're checking that list to see if, if we have a session in there based on the occurrence of that button ID being in the list. So if there isn't a record there, which is what happened in our case, we're creating a new time entry record, which we can see right here. So very simple use of, of these actions. You can see how seamlessly they all fit together. And then we're getting the time uh, that that entry was made and then sending a mobile notification over about that. So if there was a time entry that was already existing, let's see what would happen in that case. So let's just say I forgot that I had created that time entry and I, and I try to create another one. So I'll jump over to my phone view and you can see that it says you just tried to start a new time entry, but you have one that's been open for two minutes and needs to be closed off. And then we have some instructions about how you can use the long hold action on the flick button to close off an open time entry. So we have another flow that's initiated to do that. But you get the idea that that uh, using these simple actions with the flick button, we're really able to take advantage of some things in this process. So that's the first flow that we use in, in our process here. Moving along, uh, we have the clearing of time entry. So I was just talking about how um, if you Maybe maybe uh, you 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 left and uh, forgot to close off your time, or um, the next day you realize that you didn't close your time off, and you say, you know what, I'm going to manually go into the system and I'll put that time in that I forgot to close off, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna clear my entry. So you can you can do a hold, a long press basically on your flick button, and it it will initiate a separate flow. So we took advantage of that, and I'm going to just run through this flow. So you can see that when we do a hold. We're checking to see. We're checking to see if we have any open entries, and basically the logic of being evaluated here to say is there any open entries for this button? So if we do have um, any open items, we will close those off, and then we are sending another mobile notification out in this case so very simple um, for us to, to kind of housekeep a really easy interaction for users so they can keep um, all their time entries uh, working just like they had hoped and you can see that we have an alternate path as well so if if you don't have any open entries and you try to clear them it's telling you look you just tried to to close an entry but you don't actually even have one open so a real quick look at that one and then we'll close off our time entry. So we have one open. You saw that it had been open for two minutes in the last notification we got. So in this time, instead of a single click, I'm going to double click. That's what initiates this flow. So we heard that happen. And let's check out what we have on our mobile phone. So it's asking us, would you like to log a four minute or 0 0.06 of an hour time entry. So let's go in to the notification details. One of the nice things about the notification action is you can actually configure an address on it. So we've taken advantage of that in this case, and we're going to see how that all works. So how easy was that? We started our time entry by a single click. We close it with a double click, and I'm just going to tap on that link, and let's see what happens next. So you can see that we now have a power app that submits time entries directly into our SharePoint list. And uh, one of the nice things here is the user can really easily uh, pick the customer they are working on, the project, the activity, and, and the date and time are populated for them. So they don't have to worry about uh, populating those values and it, and it streamlines the process for them. All right, well, thank you for spending the time watching the video and our run through of the solution. So 
we would love to hear from you. Uh, any feedback you have, questions, anything like that, you can leave them in the comments or you can contact, contact us directly via the email that you see up on the screen or you can reach us on our website. There's a contact form there as well. So thank you again and uh, we look forward to hearing from you.